In this video, we'll look at how to install Wireshark on a Windows 11 machine. Now you just need to open a browser and then search for Wireshark. Download, go with Wireshark download, and we should go to the site that says wireshark.org. So click on that link. So once we get to the site, you have different releases. You have this old stable releases. I'm gonna go with the stable ones and uh, I'm gonna go with the Windows 64 bit installer. So click on it. It should be a quick download. It's not that big of a file. It's uh, 73 MBs. So it looks like the download is complete. We just double click on it to install it. Okay, you'll be prompted to allow the install. Just click on yes. Okay, click on next on this page. You can scroll down to look at the license information. Click on noted. Then click on next here. And this is uh, the different tools or components that you'll be installing. We'll go with the defaults and install all of them. Click on next. And then you can create a shortcut on the start menu. And then you can do a wash a quick launch icon also. We'll go with the defaults again. Click on next. This is where it's gonna be installed. Just click on next. If you already have NP up or win pick up it's gonna list it here if you don't have it you'll have to install it so that's selected i'll just go with that and then you can install this usb cup now if you'll be using if you'll be capturing usb traffic you'll need this i don't think i'll be capturing usb traffic so i'm not gonna uh, check that so i'll click on install Okay, we have to agree to the license agreement. Then you can restrict uh, the NPCAP drivers to administrators only if you wanted. And then you can support row 802.1x and monitor mode. Yeah, I'll, I'll check that. Then I'll check also this one, I'll click install. So we, we're getting message saying installation complete, setup was completed successfully. We'll go with next. Then here we can click finish. So it's finishing, finishing up and cleaning up. Click on next, and then we'll just finish again. And now we should have Wireshark on our computer. As you can see, we don't have a shortcut icon. You have to, if you're gonna run it, you'll have to search for it. Or if you enable the shortcut on the start menu, you should have one like I have here. So double click it to start it. Uh, it's asking for us to upgrade. I'm gonna just skip that. And now these are the interfaces. Every time you start Wireshark, it's gonna list your interfaces. And you have to select whatever interfaces you wanna capture traffic on. I'll go with, as you can see, Ethernet zero is the one that's showing traffic. And it's also showing my IP. So, this is one of the virtual interfaces. So I'll go with the second one that seems to have traffic on it. So we can see the capture there. And as you can see, it's right now it's capturing traffic. 
and that's how you would uh, run Wireshark and start capturing traffic. Once you're done, you can stop it using this icon right here. Just click on it, and that should stop it. And now you have your capture. Obviously, you can save it. You can save the file. Then you can use filters and all that to look at the different packets that you have. Yeah, you have a list that you can also look at.